let's start. I'm ready whenever you guys are. Kane, certainly a, a frustrating result for you tonight, but um, just can you talk about your, your emotion right now? I've had a few seconds to process. How are you oh, feeling? Man, I just can't believe that happened. Um, having a great camp coming in, truly everything I said before, like how strong I felt, like that was all true. Coming in, felt great out there, relaxed. And then taking that one step I did with my left foot, I just felt something pop. And then when I tried to take another step, it was like, it just gave out on me. My knee gave out on me. I can't even believe that happened. Um, going in 100% healthy, 100% ready. And just to kind of have this like, this freak accident, you know, I can't even believe it, man. It's so, it's just hard, you know, but uh, I mean, that's sports, that's, that's what we're, you know, that's what we do. That's what happens sometimes. But it's just really frustrating, you know, because, again, the fire in me is strong and, like, again, stronger than ever in camp, great camp, great camp. And then this happens. Visible, your knee buckling, and we were all kind of trying to figure out the uppercuts inside that, that hurt you or was it the knee? So from your point of view, was it really just the knee more than anything else that sent you down? It was just the knee, yeah. I mean, he didn't even, like, touch me, you know? It was just the knee. As soon as I felt the knee just buckle, it was like, I couldn't believe that happened, you know? And then that was it, yeah. With that in mind, were you okay with the stoppage? I mean, I know you were trying to cover up and taking some hammer fists. Were you okay with the stoppage? You feel like it was probably impossible for you to continue anyway? It was okay because the, the ref saw my knee buckle. The ref saw my knee buckle. His job is to make sure we're 100% we're safe. And he, he did that, you know, even for me, just to process like what happened at that moment, uh, even, even afterwards. Um, the ref did the right job. He did the correct job uh, tonight, so yeah. I imagine some medical evaluation will be needed, but is there any initial indication of exactly what it was with the knee and how long you could potentially be out and, and what the impact will be on you moving forward? We'll see what happens uh, going forward. Again, knowing what what I did these past three years and two months for getting ready for this camp, I felt ready, extremely ready, felt calm out there. Like that was a place, the octagon was a place I needed to be. And I felt great, I felt great coming back. I felt great in there with him. Um, and then again, just, the freak accident of the knee just popping out. Um, it, yeah, it's just frustrating, you know. Um, but we'll get it all checked out. The fire in me strong again still, you know. And, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I got, you know, I guess I got a lot to prove. And I'm very capable of doing that. The last thing for me, I think you might have just touched on it right there, saying there's still something to prove. But I think people would worry that if this ends up being a serious injury, is there any possibility this is the last time we, we see you fight? We'll see what happens, you know, with getting it checked out. Um, again, I go into everything and I do it at my best ability. And if I feel like I can't be the best, then I really won't do it. And that's not the case. That's not the case with this, with the soul camp. So just something that happens tonight, you know, it's frustrating. So. It's frustrating more so to the people out there watching, you know. Um, they expect a lot out of me. I expect a, even more from myself. And, yeah, I'm just, it's hard, you know, it's hard to go to, for something like that to happen. Kane, uh, just to clarify, so when you said you felt your, you took a step with your left foot, and then where in your knee did it, did you feel the pain? Like what part of your knee? Both the pain on the inside of the knee, so the meniscus probably. I mean, the meniscus, the uh, MCL. Um, something just popped. Something just gave out. And then when I tried to take another step, that's when I kind of got really elongated. And it's like that was it. It was it was not stable. So um, I saw the shots that, that, uh, that Francis was throwing and – I saw I saw his speed and it was it was something that I, I'm very familiar with. It's something that looked looked a lot faster on video, 
and then being in there, you know, seeing his timing and everything, you know, I felt great. I felt great. I felt like I could even get inside. I turned him back to the cage, and then my knee gives out. When you threw the two kicks, and when you threw the second kick, is that when your leg came down? Is that when you felt the pop, or was it after you tried no. to move toward him? Uh, well, it's, like I said before, when I took the one step with the left knee, with the left leg, some popped, and then I try to step again and step even more to the left, and it completely just gave out on me uh, right then. When he threw a punch, um, it's, it, there seemed to graze you on the top of the head before all, all that happened. Did you feel that at all? No. Uh, going in, I felt going in for his leg. Um, yeah, I felt his, his like, he kind of clubbed me in the back of the head. But, no, that didn't graze me at all. You know, none of the punches grazed me at all. Uh, or, like, did anything to myself, you know, where I felt like I was unbalanced or anything. You know, um, it's just the... Uh, just getting in, getting in on the inside, and you know, it was just a freak thing that happened <laughs> with, with my knee, and yeah. Are you when you look at your career? You know, we don't know what's going to happen from you know this point forward. I know you would like to fight again if you can, but are you satisfied? Some people thought when you were at your peak, you were the greatest heavyweight of all time. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with your career as it stands today? And do you feel like you accomplished? everything that your talent you had would allow you to accomplish? I accomplished a lot. I have. Um, but with how I feel, with how I compete with others in the gym, like I know I'm capable of much more, much more. Um, you know, so that that's how I feel. Jane, right here. Uh, I, know, I know you took, you know, the past year and a half really to just take some time and recover your body. Um, was that knee giving you any trouble at all in the past year? No, none, none at all. Um, again, felt great the whole camp. You know, sparring again, um, getting ready for this fight. Dude, I was ready. You know, it's, I was ready. I am ready. And something like that happens. It's really disappointing, you know. Uh, yeah. Kane right here. Um, you pulled Francis in and had some nice things to say about him, try to calm the crowd down. What compelled you to do that? What else was I supposed to do? You know, I have a lot of respect for him. I have a lot of respect for a lot of fighters, you know. That's just how I am. Uh, before the fight, a lot of respect, but I'm there, I'm there to kill him. After the fight, a lot of respect. Especially for him as, as, as a man, as a competitor, you know. Um, <laughs> I beat myself tonight, you know. Cain, buenas noches. Uh, un, una derrota, una noche eh, triste para ti. Un, eh, todos vimos lo que pasó con tu, tu, tu rodilla, lo acabas de explicar en inglés. ¿Cómo sacar adelante esta frustración? ¿Cómo sacar adelante este momento? ¿Piensas en el retiro? ¿Cómo sacarlo adelante de eso? Retirir, um, ahorita no, no. Porque todavía pienso que, que, que yo soy el, el mejor todavía. Me siento así todavía. Es una cosa que pasó bien, bien raro esta noche con mi rodilla. Todo, todo cosa en, en, en el campo que, que yo hice estaba bien. Sentía al, al 100% fuerte todo y listo para una pelea contra contra Francis y eso no eso una cosa que pasó no ha pasado en mi car, en mi en mi campamento cuando entrené para esta pelea no pasó esta noche y sí es una cosa que sí triste no sé triste para para los fans para para mí quería señalar cómo ha mejorado esta noche y no, no tenía la, la oportunidad para hacer eso y es bien difícil. Caín, una vez más en español. Eh, un, eh, suponiendo que, que estás bien, que, no, que la rodilla está bien después de lo que pasó, ¿cuándo te gustaría regresar y, y qué tipo de rival te gustaría para, para, para un regreso rápido? Pues pronto, sí, 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 sí. Mi, mi rodilla está bien. 
Yo quiero a regresar pronto porque mi condición, mi fuerza, la espalda está ahí, está, está al 100. Estoy listo. Estoy listo, listo para ser campeón otra vez. Algo pasó esta noche. Yo no sé por qué, pero pasó. Vamos a ver en el futuro a ver por qué eso pasó. Pero es bien, es bien difícil a pensar cómo, cómo pasó algo así, pero es por algo. No sé por qué, pero vamos a, vamos a, a saber en el futuro por qué. Last question right here. Kane, how does this injury compare to the others you've suffered in the past few years in terms of frustration and, and possibly devastation? It's just frustrating the fact that I was able to go through a camp and nothing went wrong, you know, everything was great. And that just for my body, for my morale, it's like I take on the world, you know. Um, and it just sucks that something like this happened out of my control. Um, you know, it, yeah, it's, it's terrible, you know, for me, it's but it happened for a reason. I don't know why. We'll see in the future, but um, I've, this happened for a reason. So um, I just need to be patient. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do out there. I know what I can still do. So 